just about ready you guys I'm just getting everything ready over here there we go let's see all right we are live let me get these things out of the way which may or may not stay out of the way i don't know huh let's see did i do that right put it up there there uh, that might be better and we'll straighten this up just a wee just a wee bit there we go. We'll center him. And the Scary Dental Tool is here tonight. Woohoo! The Scary Dental Tool. I wish I could do a, a live watch party. But when I do, I can't see y'all's comments. We got one more minute before we start. And I'm excited because this is something so cute. I can't wait to show you. So let's see who's here. Invite friends. Let's see. Invite. 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 I'm inviting friends, y'all. I'm just clicking through here and say, hey, come on over. Because this is fun. And goodness. Still inviting. I mean, I got like half a minute, y'all. Half a minute. Half a minute. Oh, there's one of my friends I just love so much. Oh, hey, Angela. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, so, um, yeah, one of my friends, I just went on the list to invite her. And um, I lost that friend earlier this year. And it just, whew, it is so sad just seeing her name come up, you know. But let's not be sad tonight because she would not want that. Welcome to Monday Fun Days. Hi, Tammy. I feel so much better, Tammy. Like, I kid you not. Um, hi, Angela. Um, yeah, I had, a, I had a pretty rough few days. And I just really feel like the Lord just took it off my shoulders today. Like, literally. Like, I normally... I, I can't tell you when I felt this before. It felt like a physical something coming off of me. And John had been praying for me. And I've been praying. And it's all emotional junk, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's like... Wow, I'm just I told John, I said if I was the least bit athletic, I would put on my running shoes and run. It felt that good. But I'm not, so I ate. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with Monday Fundy. Um, hey Courtney. So y'all, I got to show you this cute thing. It has nothing to do with stamping up, but it was so much fun making it. This, y'all, is a little backpack. It's paper, as you might can tell, cardstock. This was some stash I had. This is n there's no stamping on here. These are um, stickers. Thank you, Courtney. Maybe you just needed that shower. Maybe so. <laughs> so okay, this was a kit that came in a um, another project, and it had um, paper in it and stickers and. Uh, solid papers things like that so i just i just love the paper and i used it um this came off of youtube it's actually um called a backpack for craft fairs like you'd make a bunch of these and sell them for like five to eight dollars um i can't really see myself doing that because first of all i love it so much i could squeeze it it's so cute let me show you something's inside you hear that? Mm -hmm. There's a magnet here. And that keeps it closed. Like that. Isn't that cool? It's right up under here. And when I do it the next time. This is my first one I've ever made. When I do it the next time, I'll center it better. Because the way she said on the video. I just watched a video. And I just paused it a lot. And made it as I watched the video. But there's a little boo-boo here. But you can't really see it when you snap it shut. Um... And I'll show you what's inside in a second, but I want to tell you what my plans are. My plans are to make a bunch of these. And am I too loud? I might be too loud. I'm wearing a microphone. Um, 
how's that coming through? One of y'all tell me, am I, am I like blowing y'all out of the water? Do I need to calm down? Just let me know. Okay, so this will be my normal volume, maybe, but I'm pretty excited. Okay, so what am I going to do with this? Um, I'm going to make a bunch of these. I'm keeping this one. going to make a bunch of these and um, give them to my grandchildren for Christmas with their little things in it. The 10-year-old will probably get a $20 bill, something like that. Sound is fine. Thank you, thank you. Um, the 10-year-old will probably get a little bit of money. Um, the other kids, the little girls are getting a little bit of jewelry, things like that, that I've already bought. It's ready to go. And um, the the smallest one, I'll probably... And everybody's getting some candy, stuff like that. And the smallest child is probably... He's going to probably get some little matchbook cars, matchbox cars or something. So, hey, Laura. So let me show you what's inside of this. Laura, this is completely paper crafted off of a video on YouTube. Inside, are y'all ready? Are these little notebooks? Oh my goodness, I can't stand it. Okay, I know that sounded weird, but I just can't stand it. This is called a belly band. When you can slide it up and down off of your project, it's called a belly band. It is so simple. If you can, I know I'm I'm using the my iPad is up here, my phone is over there because I do have a precious person who calls me every time I'm live. Um, anyway, a belly band is simply a circle like we used to make those chains uh, for Christmas trees, and then I just glued the black cardstock to it with a little something on the top this could be anything it could be dimensional it could be whatever and um and you just slide it over okay but look how cute it is a little notebook isn't that just stinking adorable and there are two and this is just a print on the paper it's not a second layer it's just printed like that's actually the edge um and I just thought I would use it because I really liked it like that. And besides, like I said, I'm keeping this one. Um, it's going in my <laughs> my little museum o paper crafts. Um, thank you. It is cute, cute. Precious person. Oh, precious per Who's a precious person? Laura. But I love that. Um, okay, so you could make, you know, like... I'll show you the inside. See, there's plenty of room. I hope you can see that. I'm going to hold it for just a second till my camera catches up. And just a sec. I know y'all are going, please put it down and go on. Um, the one who calls silly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I just tumbled right over that. But yes, um, a precious person, my, my precious brother. But yeah, so you can stuff a lot of stuff in there. And it's got the cute little, um, cute little straps on the back. This is hot glued. They recommended it, and I'm like, no, I know better than that. And I tried other things. Okay, no, it's totally hot glue. Um, if you want this video, just comment. Hey, Robin, just comment below, and um, I will, I will link you up with the video that helped me make this. It's really not that hard. I'm gonna make a template, and I'm gonna make a bunch of them. Okay, so on to tonight's project. Woohoo! Um, we are going to be using, let's see, first of all we're going to make this card here. I'm just going to make a card and I'm going to teach you some new techniques. And this is cased by a um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator named D. Slater. And I hope you can see the little glitter, glitter, glitter in here. I hope you can. Um, there's just a teeny teeny bit of blue here so it kind of looks cold oh and let me tell you I didn't do a face shot tonight because um now why is it getting blurry what is going on hold on oh okay I didn't do a facial shot tonight because um I changed over to my iPad being up there and I can't really figure out how to do that okay anyway I'm not wearing makeup anyway all right, so you see the glitter. That's part of it. Um, this tree, I'm going to teach you how to make your cardstock match your inks. If you don't have the same cardstock, we're going to do a stamp off, stamp on. Um, we're going to make a little cold bank of snow. And 
pretty much that's the plan okay and here's what we're going to use this is current it's called winter woods and it has its very own die set which is right here and the little Christmas tree that I've got put over to the side and then I'm going to use one of the rectangle stitched framelits um, hey Donna you missed the backpack so please go back to the beginning um, thanks Laura thanks for stopping in um, the rectangle stitched framelits that I have used so many times that's what we've, we're going to do the sentiment with and <coughs> excuse me this this set is beautiful beautiful this is a must-have it really is it's just a must-have it's got the little pine cone and the sprig here and the little um, looks like that could be snow it's got the the wintry trees here and this tree is just beautiful right here let me show you in the catalog um, like I said it's current and this is the this is the um, stamp set here called winter woods and as you can see it's um, they've made a little card with it up top All right and these are the framelits called in the woods and now we're going to use let's see all right here's my white card stock I'm going to show you a few cool things. Um, let, let's wonder how many things I'm going to have left over there. Right now we're good, but I did leave my bone folder over there, but I've got my scary dental tool. So I'm just going to use that to, to flatten out my cardstock really well. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is make a snowbank. So I'm going to take this cardstock here and I'm just going to mark it. I just, you know, this is the cheater way. I just put a notch in it with my fingernail. And then um, I get my cutter out and put that. Is that the notch? Yes. I'm going to put it right there and cut it off. I don't know how long it is. Well, yeah, I do. Um, this should be... Um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So this would be five and a half inches long right here. All right, now when you tear your cardstock, believe it or not, there's a right way and a wrong way. You want to, like I'll, I know that this is gonna be my front facing corner. It's gonna be this corner right here. And you see how there's kind of a layer there? Okay, I'll show you the difference between the two sides in a second. Um, Okay, so we're just, like I just put my nail there and I'm just pulling the paper apart. And you see the, the edge it's leaving? And I'm going up and then I'm coming back down a little bit. And then I'll probably just come up a little bit. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how you do it. But you see that fuzzy edge? That's going to be snow, y'all. Okay, I'm going to use a little sponge here. And the seaside spray stampin up ink this is a water-based ink now this little sponge is actually in the catalog here it's four dollars and i'll show it to you here right here you get um three sponges and i'm telling you this has i bought them one time they last forever okay so you just snip a chunk out of it I don't know, sometimes I get a bigger chunk, sometimes a little chunk. I found out that this really works well. You can um, you can pin them with a little clippy like this or what I did with this one, and that says pool party, but it's okay. This is very dry here, and huh, it left a little bit of ink, but it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but I just stapled the name of it there so I would know later you know, what to use it with. And Okay, so I'm gonna dab it on here and I'm just gonna check to see how dark that is. And I'm just gonna just barely get the edge of this right here, all right? Okay, there we go. And it just, it just kinda makes it a little colder, right? Okay, so didn't go crazy, just got a little bit of that blue on there. I hope you can see it. It comes out blue, even though it's called Seaside Spray. It's kind of a, kind of a, 
purpley blue I don't know it's beautiful I love this color okay so this will eventually go right here now you can really see the contrast in the color okay all right so we're gonna park him over here for a minute I'm gonna open this guy up and now we're going to put this first we're gonna put this background of trees in okay I'm going to show you, first of all, um, these, these trees, you can do so many different ways, um, but I'm just going to stamp off and back on. And I've got a little piece of tape here to hold my stamp on because this is the, the former stamps that don't cling as well, um, but they will, they will when you buy new ones, they, they work just great. All right, we're going to use the early espresso and I want to get a feel for where where my little ridge is so I'm gonna go I should have a pencil but I have a pen right beside me so I'm just gonna if it were a pencil I would just draw gently very gently just a few dashes but since it's a pen I'm gonna go a little further and put my dashes here okay just little dots you probably can't see them but I can so I just want to be sure that I get my tree stumps down that far okay does that make sense all right so I'm using early espresso and I'm first gonna stamp off well I need more don't I here's how I did it earlier today and it worked great is like this it's a bigger stamp and sometimes oh hi Karen I hope everything went well we'll talk about it tomorrow that's awesome okay so here we go and still not as dark as I wanted let me let me grab some other ink please hold oops so sorry I almost please hold I know I have to leave something over there right all right hold on hold on hold on Okay. Okay, that did not take but a second. So apparently I should re-ink. I hope this isn't loud. I'm sorry. Here we go. I think I just need to re-ink that stamp pad. But for the sake of time, I'm now gonna use this is soft suede. Okay. Gonna stamp off. There we go. Now we're getting some some tree of runies and you see i went a little further because you don't want your car i mean this particular kind of card is a landscapey kind of thing so i like it to go off the edge a little bit then i'm going to do it again and i'm going to remember to stamp off again hey nyoka hey robin there <laughs> robin you're so funny i'm going to stamp off here now you'll be sure and see the beginning because there is a very cute something out there. It's a surprise. Anybody who came in late needs to go see it. And now I'm going direct to paper from the stamp from the ink and I'm just going to go over this way. Now I can see my tree trunks are here and I'm going in between. All right. So see how good I do this nothing like live TV there we go now we're getting some foresty depth isn't that just cool goodness y'all I love this stuff so much and now I'm gonna leave that like there's light coming through and I'm just going to I think I'll put it right here it's gonna kind of put it right there there we go because you know in the forest you know not all the trees are right up front my mama would disagree she'd say you can't see the forest for the trees that's what she used to say okay so now we have our background right okay and we have our snowbank it's waiting over there so don't be nervous it's coming all right so now we are going to use come on get off of there we're going to use our tree and again i've got my little sticky tape this came from the newer stamp sets it's part of the trash that's left over after you peel your stamp labels off and i keep it and then i just cut a swatch of it and boom it works on my older stamp sets but when you order this set you'll get all the new ones 
I mean, you'll get all the, the super stickies, okay? So we are using Mossy Meadow. And I want to show you something in case I forget later. You see the difference in these colors? All right, that's not going to matter shortly. If I had Mossy Meadow cardstock, I would use it. However, I don't. So I'm using this older scrap, which maybe this is garden green. Who knows? And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a little bit. Okay, we're going to make it Mossy Meadow, y'all. This is a very hefty, strong, beautiful green. So I will show you. We're going to put a tree. Let's see. Now I'm looking at my little dots I made. So I want this tree to go right about here. And I'm trying to get him straight, okay? And we're going we're gonna to do this one a little bit different than the other. Now this one here, I want it to be just on the edge. I'll put it right down here. Okay? And then this other one we'll put right here. Okay. Oop! Oh! That's a great way to get mossy meadow. Nope, it didn't happen. Yay. If it did, I'd be getting green on everything. Robin, thank you. I'm excited about this card. Okay, so now we have, we have this background and we have these trees, right? Does not look a whole lot alike it. Like it? <laughs> alike? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Until you put this down. See? So now we have our snowbank. Guess what, people? Aren't you proud of me? It's not empty tonight. Yay! I refilled it. I refilled it. Okay. I refilled a, three of them, actually, because, gosh, I use this stuff too much. Okay. I'm just meeting my corners. And it's starting to snow right here. Y'all, I don't know how many of you know, but I'm a freelance writer. Have been for gosh 30 years and um I, I really hate to admit this but it's a fact jack forever whenever i try and and i'm just trimming this edge off because i got a little crazy um whenever i try to type the word snow i put a t instead of a w and my editors used to laugh at me because you know it would be a snot storm and that's just a terrible thing especially <laughs> Uh, especially when, um, you know, your editor calls you out on it and says, what kind of a storm is a snot storm? And I'm like, no, I meant to put snow. Okay, so now we've got, we're getting there, right? And look how simple. This card is going like this because I took a good five minutes at the first of this thing to show y'all this thing. It's so cute. Okay, I'll calm down now. Um, Courtney, yes, you, you need to come over for a play date. Not kidding. Anybody local that wants to come to a play date, trust me, I'm ready. And I FaceTime too. I will give you personal fa FaceTime instruction um, when you are in my downline or when you are my customer. It's free. Okay. So um, anyway, I'm going to cut this out. going to use my, my, uh, oh, my big shot, Mr. Big Shot. Tell me, tell me, who do you think you are, Mr. Big Shot? You're never going to get my love. <laughs> Y'all old enough to remember that song? It's the kind of storm Avery had while I watched her this <laughs> Hey, Susan. I hope you can hang out with us a little bit. Everybody who's coming in late, y'all need to see the video at first because it's super cute. Those of you who were on, tell the others how cute it was. Okay. All right. So this is in there and it's not going to come out on its own. So scary dental tool to the rescue. But we do have a tool um, called a something something tool and it's a brush thing. And trust me, you need it for very detailed dyes. This one, not so much because you can just punch a little hole and out it pops. Okay. All right. So here we go. This little tree has all these little indentions in it. So you can fluff this thing out when you're done, if you'd like to. Okay. Now what are we going to do? I will show you. This does not match our card. 
very well. You see the difference? It's a little little hokey there, a little bit like, oh, look at me. I'm, you know, I'm a tree standing here. So we do want it to kind of coordinate. And I'm going to totally change this thing out here and just in an emergency because I left this stamp over there. I mean, sponge, the big shot. It's on my wish list. Yes, Courtney, you need one. I am just going to get it straight out of here, the mossy meadow, and I'm going to scrub this bad boy until he gives up his light greenness. That's right. Notice how I'm not singing any Christmas songs because those get in your head. Um, my sweet husband, y'all know how much I love him, right? Yeah, okay. Sometimes he starts singing a particular Christmas song and he sings it all year long, usually in the morning. It has something to do with weather being frightful. And um, it's adorable because our whole family is just like, oh no, it, it's hilarious. Okay, so we've got him now in a more acceptable color, right? Okay, let's see where we want him. Oh, I kind of like it there, but I like it over here too. We want to be able to put this guy on, and I should have cut it while I had it over here. So let's do that first. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and stamp that. Oh, excuse my arm. You were listening to Christmas music. I love Christmas music all the time. And Robin said, "I'm a little peep teapot if you're a tree." <laughs> uh yes um it makes a fabulous christmas tree yes okay please hold here we go i have to get all my stuff out again because i forgot I, I always forget the sentiment y'all i don't know why it's like i just don't think of it okay so now the last time on that first card when i when i um stamped that it wasn't perfect so what did i do i flipped it over and did it again and that's the beauty of the stamping up <clears throat> excuse me the stampin up cardstock is thick enough you can do that it's pretty cool i'm just checking because i do have some green here so i got to i got to got to please hold got to okay well there we go i just don't want to get it on my stuff you know okay oh look at that okay so my little my little guy here this is one of the rectangular rectang stitched rectangle framelits. I'm just going to glue it up, put it down with some washi tape, move it up just a wee right there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it. Listen to me glue. It's not glue, y'all. Stick it down. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Wherever Murgatroyd is, heavens to it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Y'all want the Big Shot song again? Okay, here we go. Mr. Big Shot. Now the Big Shot, Stampin' Up! used to sell it. We don't sell it anymore. So I highly recommend you go to Michael's Online or AC Moore Online or Joanne or whoever has them. Uh-oh, just throwing everything around. <clears throat> excuse me go to one of those and get you a little 40 percent discount and get you a big shot and then i will take care of the rest and by the way while i'm getting ready to glue this down i am going to a stampin up event this weekend and i cannot wait a couple of reasons my um sister cousin <laughs> Um, my husband's cousin, um, she and I are born about the same, within a week of each other. And um, we're just, we raised our kids together and all that. Anyway, she and I are going to a Stampin' Up! event that is fabulous. Okay, I'm really glad I put that down first because now I can put my tree over it just a wee bit. See? All right, so we're going to put some um, dimensionals on here. So we're going Saturday morning. And we're coming back Sunday, and it's about two hours from here. And um, we, oh, that means I'm not going to be at Knit Group, Knit Group friends, Robin, Courtney, whoever else is on here from Knit Group. Um, I will not be there, 
but we're going Saturday morning and we're coming home Sunday and it's really exciting because for the whole 20 years I lived in Savannah she and I spoke so many times on how we just missed having our visits and all that together because when we when we moved our boys um well our daughter too all of our kids were um very close okay so there's our card but wait there's more this is called a stampin spritzer and this is champagne mist um i'll show you in the book here let's see where i found it okay here it is this is a stampin spritzer mine's a mine's a old school right here but i'm not buying a new one just because it's a different color and i'll show you what it does I've got a few drops of shimmer paint in it, like maybe five or six, and um, just some um, alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol, probably 70%. And the color I have is Champagne Mist, which is right here. I also have Frost White, but I'm using Champagne today. All right, so all I'm going to do is hold it like this and get it on everything around me. But I'm just gonna about this far away. Can y'all tell? Hey, Janice. Okay, there we go. And and I spritzed. Now, do you see all the glitter? And I actually made this concoction just by putting in a little bit of alcohol and about five drops, maybe six, of the champagne mist uh, shimmer paint. And it stays good. I mean, like I haven't used it in a while. I did get a little close to this one because of the camera. I wanted y'all to be able to see it. I hope you can see the glittery stuff in it. So, um, Janice, yeah, be sure and look at the beginning of it because there's something cute. So, you see it's dried on here and it's just a little lighter than this. It's kind of heavy, but hey, that's okay. And on the inside, you can put whatever sentiment you like. I prefer messages of faith. Um you know, something regarding scripture for Christmas. Um, but this is this is pretty and it's nice and it's thinking of you this season. On the inside, I can put my um, scriptural message and um, there you go. Now, I use regular cardstock. We do have a thick cardstock um, that would probably do better on this because of the shimmer paint. But as you can see, because I was a little close, you really want to be, I'd say, about two feet away. And it's kind of like the lady in the com perfume commercial. You know, thank you, thank you, Robin, um, where she sprays it in the air and then walks through it. Okay, first of all, I wish everybody would stop wearing perfume. Just quit. Okay. Secondly, <laughs> then there's people in here I don't see in my comments. And I apologize because I want to say hey to everybody. But... um but I do appreciate it, and please do like and share. Um, but yeah, you can just like spritz it in the air and just kind of float it around under the spritzies, and um, and there you go. So that's a good way to to get it uh, to get it a little lighter. And of course, if you want to use those um, thicker papers, that's great. That would be great. But look how quickly this card was done. I'd say twenty minutes. And I really didn't prepare anything at first. I started from scratch with the white card. <clears throat> Excuse me, the only difference is I had all my um, tools here for once and um, all of my supplies and I had already cut my papers. That's pretty much the only other time consuming thing. So, you know, and if you were making a bunch of these, you could probably make, I'd say 10 or 20 in an hour's time, just doing a, um, just doing a kind of like a, a thing line, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> when, you, when you make a bunch of things at once. Okay, so because I'm just ridiculous in love with this, one last shot of this little backpack, so cute, it's got a magnet in it, and it's got these two little, little booklets. If you want more information on it, look at the first part of the video. And um, I thank you all for coming by. Please do support my business. Um, KathyBow.StampinUp.net. September host code is this. And all you got to do is do a um, thank you, Alma. Thank you so much. I'm glad you were here. Um, all you got to do is put in the host code if it's under 
$150 and it'll come right to you. Keep in mind, we have a sale right now. Um, three packs of specific designer series paper. You'll see on my Facebook page, there's a post, just a couple of posts down that will um, tell you exactly what's available. You get, you buy three and you get one free. So that's a great deal, especially when you want to stock up. I stocked up on some in the past and I've not regretted a bit. I love having it. So there we go. Thank you all for um, stopping by, for visiting, and God bless you all. See you next Monday, Fun Day, and check out my YouTube channel. Thanks again. Love y'all. Bye.